Hey everybody, I know it's summer, I know you don't want to see my ugly face, but during season two I had mentioned on an episode that I'd be doing a behind the scenes episode on my new film, Lego Star Wars 2, Empire's End, made completely of Legos, as you can see, boop, Lego man, Lego Luke Skywalker, yes, um, so I'm doing it now because I didn't do it then. Because my ADHD got in the way. You can clearly have seen. Um, I just never got around to it during season two. So, so I just do it now. But before the movie comes out. Okay, so let's get right to it. Um, Lego Star Wars 2 is the sequel to my film I released last year, Lego Star Wars: Knights of the New Republic. Um, I kind of planned to do a sequel to it, because I liked, you know, doing the animation stuff. So I left, it, I left it open for a sequel, which is exactly what I did. I uh, made a sequel. Now, the sequel is probably going to be, is in, for right now, is a two-parter, depending on how much extra stuff I have filming-wise, because part one is done filming, and you know, it's ready to go. Part two, I'm still working on, like, adding in voices and stuff. Because that part two is the bigger part of the movie. It's got a lot of action in it. It's very action-y for Legos. As much as you can get with Legos, I guess. So, but part one is more of... Without part one, part two wouldn't make any bit of sense. So, for y'all that don't like the slow stuff, get over it. Because this is the way part one's going to be have to have something to build up to the big, you know, action scenes and stuff, otherwise you just look retarded. It's the way any movie is. And because YouTube's stupid, I had to release it in parts, so I decided to space it out. Part 1 comes out June 25th, then part 2 is July 23rd. Yeah, it's a Friday. Yeah, it's a Friday, because my birthday is 25th and that's Sunday. So it's a Friday. Yeah, I counted right. So... Um, part one comes out in June, part two in July. Uh, in the movie, I, well, the name, okay, name, in, I'm doing three movies. I'm doing a trilogy. But, the second movie, this one, is named Empire's End. Now, when you would hear that, you would think, oh, Empire's End, that's the end of it. No more Star Wars. Just because the Empire's in doesn't mean Star Wars is, you know, like the characters' lives have ended. I mean, believe it or not, I'm sure their whole lives wouldn't want to revolve around the Emperor. You know, I mean, I mean look at him. He's old and wrinkly. Would you want to revolve your life around that man? No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. So the third film is going to, hey, um, going to be, okay, so, <laughs> Uh, the four Dark Lords that Vader and the Emperor resurrected in the first movie have, they have like a, basically they have a cameo in this film. The film doesn't, they're not the main focus in the film. The main focus in the film is how the Emperor's new clone body is like just deteriorating. It's, his soul is so dark that he, it's just eating away basically literally at his body. So he the movie is a search for a viable body to basically transfer his evil soul to. And he sets his sights on Leia's new one of two children, Jason Solo. Um so that's what this main story is about. And which ends up, you know, Luke face of the Emperor and all that, you know. Just, I just have to watch it. Uh, in the first movie, Leia was pregnant with twins. In this movie, she's skinny again, so she obviously had her babies, which you will see in part one. Uh, I've added th two new characters. Uh, you know, Lando Calrissian from the old movies. He is back. Uh, and then Admiral Akbar, he's back. And then Mon Mothma. She's gonna look a lot different in this movie because I got this. I got a. I bought a Lego set 
that is the the um the meeting room in Return of the Jedi, you know. This one. You, you should be able to recognize it if you if you know the movies, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you, you know you know this room. They came, the set came with all three of these people. So I decided to add them to the movie. So Mon Mothma looks different because you actually have the Mon Mothma minifigure character. So I thought, you know, I might need to use that. You know, you know, just a thought. So those are the new characters. Um, R2 and C3PO, they're in the movie. Kind of a minimal role. Not really. I've, I in the movie, in my Lego Star Wars films, I'm. I like to have them in there, but I like to have the a real main focus on, you know, the main cast and not side stories. Because I, being ADHD, a side story would just lead off into a whole other story. You just forget about the main story. So I have to say on the straight and narrow with that story. Uh, now, in the novel, in, in, in novelizations, that. Um, take place after Return of the Jedi. There's a character named uh, Mara Jade, who Luke eventually has a something something going on with. And she is in the movie, um, but I don't want to give too much away of why or how she's in it because of you know because. Oh, I just don't want to, because I don't want to give anything away. Not that anyone cares, but I do. That's just me. Two characters are going to die in the movie. Two characters that you've known since 1977. If you're around that long. Or since since the first Star Wars movie. A New Hope, now. Really, it's been renamed. Uh, so you know these characters. These two characters are going to die. I'm not going to tell you their names. You have to say for yourself. Both of which will die in part two. So. One of one you will see in part one. And one you won't see until part two. Sorry. But he will die in part two. Oops, did I get far away? Oh well. So. You have to wait to part two to see how that goes down. I'm being very, very violent, taking apart people. I know. After you've been with them for months and months, you just want to take them apart, you know. Sorry. Okay, so um, one thing I thought you know, people might find interesting is in the movies, you know how they have these like coruscants, you know, like the landscape of coruscant all that junk. Um, I don't have like old George Lucas's stuff to put it in my movies. I have to find other ways to do it, make the backgrounds. So. I go on the internet, I print off a picture of it. Use that as my background. I'll stick it behind. Something like this. And you see? No, no. Okay, see? Okay, whatever. You never know. You never know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess there's your behind the scenes on Lego Star Wars 2, Empire's End. Um, part 1 opens June 25th. And then part two is July 23rd. So you totally should check that out because it's going to be awesome. I kind of stepped up the animation this time. I tried to step up like the way I did the film from the first movie. Each time I think I'm trying to get a little better. Um, I hope you all like Lego like, Star Wars 2. Uh, and for me, the first Lego like, Star Wars was actually quite a success. I got... I got a lot of views on the first part of the movie, um, and a lot on the second too. So thank you for everyone who ever watched that. Um, that means it, it actually makes me feel good. But I feel like I, actually, I feel like I actually did something, you know. And I just didn't, you know, waste my time. So thank you for everyone that's ever watched this, the movie. Thanks for watching this, and check out Lego Star Wars 2 on YouTube. And See you all season three.